Up-and-coming vocal artist Kerry Kilson has been around longer than many of you may think and is no stranger to the music industry. She has been writing songs for this past decade. In 2004, she received her first vocal debut and exhibits Hey Now Mean Muggin. <laughs> She brought you songs such as Take me as I am Wait a minute Oh my baby sexy for sure The ice box where my heart used to be And now I bring you Life Ocean with an analyzation of the Turning Me On remix. Thank you. Let me start off by saying this. People need to get this really, really clear. Carrie Hilson never wrote any songs for Beyonce. The closest she ever came to writing a song for Beyonce was Love in This Club Remix Part 2, which she wrote for herself. She thought she was going to sing the song with Usher, but Usher picked Beyonce I can understand Usher's choice in picking Beyonce over Kerry Hilson. For one, him and Beyonce are friends. And for two, Beyonce's stardom and her talent is more well known than Kerry Hilson's was at the time of Love in This Club remix. So it's totally understandable why Beyonce sang that song instead of Kerry Hilson. Let me just say this. Kerry Hilson did not diss Beyonce. A lot of people are throwing Beyonce's name, Sierra's name, Nicole from the Pussycat Dolls, and a few others. There's no stated facts in this song that has a name or anything that has to do with proof that is this song is dissing Beyonce. Sierra was at a local Atlanta radio station and the radio host called Carrie Hilson to clear up this beef and to get down to the, what was really happening with it. They called Carrie and Carrie stated that it had nothing to do with Beyonce nor Sierra, but other female artists she has worked for in the past that have done her wrong. To hear the complete interview with Carrie Hilson and Sierra with the Atlanta radio station, click the link right here in the sidebar. Now, the diss E could have very well have been Jennifer Lopez, Mary J. Blige, Nicole from the Pussycat Dolls, or who I think it is. This is just me. This is my opinion. I'm not throwing any names out there. I'm not going to go and say, hey, this is Beyonce or this is, I think it's Britney Spears. I'll tell you why in a minute, but first I want to analyze this 45 seconds of the diss track that Carrie Hilson did to whoever it is. Now I find it really funny how 45 seconds of just straight talk can get you in so much trouble. Anyway, let's get down to it. I shot the sheriff, but wait till I shoot these bitches down, shoot these bitches down. Apparently, she has more than one person that is pissing her off, that she's starting the song off with the diss. Now, it's not just Beyonce. Yes, everyone at first said it was Beyonce and Sierra, but that everyone knows it's not Sierra. It's not Beyonce either, but let's continue. I ain't trying to send a message or something on my chest that I need to get out. Cause you're turning me out. It seems like in Carrie Hilson's subconscious in her mind when she was saying these lyrics and when she was writing them whenever they came to her. It seems like in her subconscious she knew that this would cause some controversy. That's why she said, I ain't trying to start no mess. I, I'm just getting something off my chest. Basically, she's just saying that she's trying to get it off of her chest and she's releasing, leaving her stress into her lyrics. But this may have been the wrong choice for her because it's starting a little bit too much stuff for her, especially with her new album coming out. Your vision cloudy if you think that you're the best You can dance, you can sing, but need to move it Don't do it to yourself You can sing, but you need to move it to the left All the female vocalists that she's written for Could sing, of course And most of them could dance Now, that could be any one of them The term move it to the left was used way before Beyonce was probably even born 
So this is not her phrase. Yes, she had it in a song that she didn't even write, Neo wrote. Now, Carrie Hilson is a fan of Beyonce's. Are you saying that Carrie cannot use some slang up from one of Beyonce's songs? Now, I just don't understand why everyone's jumping to conclusions that it's Beyonce when there's no name said. I can understand if Carrie said Beyonce in her song, then I wouldn't even be making this video, let alone stating the facts. I would just be like, damn, Carrie, she messed up. She talked about Beyonce. Now all the Beyonce fans gonna get her. She need to go have some babies. She need to sit down. She fame. The mother chick ain't even worth my time to talk about. She's saying that this girl needs to go sit down, that she's fake, and the other girls aren't even worth her time to talk about. But in the beginning of this verse, she says, needs to go sit down and have some babies. Wait a second. Wait, wait one second. Who had babies again? Yeah. Been had dollars, boy. Go and get your money up. No, you ain't the only homie on me line. I ain't turning it off. I'm say turning it <laughs> now wait one second. Okay, let these folks know how long I've been writing your songs. It couldn't have been Beyonce because she hasn't been writing any of her songs for long, let alone any. Just check the credits, ho. Carrie Hilson is not in any of Beyonce's credits. Need I say more? If this video hasn't convinced you that it is not Beyonce that Carrie Hilson is dissing, then I don't know what will. But regardless of that fact, leave me some comments, video responses on who you think it is. Do you still think it's Beyonce? Do you th agree with me? You think it's Britney Spears now? You think it might be Jennifer Lopez, Nicole? Whoever it is, I don't think it's any of our business. That's between Carrie Hilson and whoever she's beefing with. But I will really appreciate some comments below and some video responses. Thanks, YouTube. It's Life Ocean signing out. Check the credits, ho. And if you want me, you can find me in the cater, ho.